Hi guys, Joe Zombie Actions, and this video we're going to react to episode 8 of season 2 of the Umbrella Academy. Let's get into it. If you have amnesia, how can you say for sure? Oh, in for fact, fuck's I'm sake, as to how no. You know your first and last name, but you don't remember anything else. I don't know, I don't know. How did you send those three troopers flying across the I'm road? Sorry, you think he's some, he's some kind of spy? Something must have happened to me. Screw Diego, all right? Screw everything. He got kidnapped. I was better off on my own in the apocalypse. Five. Come on. You know what, Luther? It's every sibling for himself now. How about that? There is a giant dead white boy on our couch. Yeah, you know, I'll admit, that doesn't look good. Oh, we're done. The movement is finished, Allison. They're going to give me the chair for this. They're not going to give you the chair. They, they would definitely. Okay, well, are you gonna open it up the door with blood on you? So are we burning or burying? <laughs> That's not gonna help <sighs> your case. Oh my god, no! Or should I say yes? Take your revenge on her. Not a cat! Where do your loyalties lie? With your family or your principles? With me. I don't belong to anybody. Especially Lila. Well, that I can work with. If you ruffles even one feather, you will kill him yourself. Understood? Thanks, Mom. I need to know he would never hurt the president. As I said, there are elements in my life that I can't discuss with you. Someday, I hope to share it all with you. Until then, I'm asking you to trust me. I'm sorry. What kind of effect will this have on the future, Diego? I got no choice. No choice about what? I have to find myself. Find yourself? I just arrived in Dallas. Oh no! Oh no! Should I be worried about you? According to Commission Handbook, Chapter 27, Subsection 3B, the seven stages in paradox psychosis are Stage 1, Denial. Two, Itching. <laughs> Three, Extreme Thirst and Urination. Four, Excessive Gas. Five, Acute Paranoia. Six, Uncontrolled Perspiration. And seven, <laughs> Homicidal Rage. Oh. It's all gonna be over soon. <laughs> What the heck? What are you doing to me? Move again and you'll regret it. You're gonna electrocute her whenever she's doing something you don't like? <laughs> LSD? What is that? No, don't tell me I read that right. LSD? Oh! Struggle, just go with you it or this can turn into an extremely unpleasant experience for you. Both of you need to die! How the hell would, will this help? Ah! If old me doesn't travel back to 2019 like he's supposed to, the whole thing unravels itself. I cease to exist. Yeah, and, and how will this not happen then? So our best chance is to talk with him, to reason with him. Reason? With you? Trust me. I know myself better than, uh, better than I know myself. What? Maybe I should go first. You? Why? Well, you freak him out. Bumping into your own tiny dog again? <laughs> you lose a shit. Don't freak out. <laughs> All right. I'll do the freaking out. Hey there, stranger. <laughs> it's a really big. No, thing. I want to stay there. So the commission controls time? Wait, like everything in time? More like we maintain the correct timeline, but basically, yeah. Who determines what's the correct timeline? Oh, the shit, do you do that? Well, come on, I'll show you. Oh, hi there. I'm 
Mr. Briefcase. No, if Mr. Briefcase. That means you've made the <laughs> yeah. Infinite switchboard operator. The key to everything we do here. In these rooms, we monitor the entire time. That's the interesting and part. Any anomalies we see along the way. Are you just staring at each other? This is nice, isn't it? The three of us uh, together. No. <laughs> Somebody explain to me how it is I'm having a pint of Guinness with my younger self. Older, actually. I'm you, just 14 days older. <laughs> my pubic hair is smarter than you. How is that possible? I got the calculation wrong. That's how I ended up in this body. But now I know the correct calculation. <laughs> Look, there's literally us. Okay. I'll be glad to tell you. In exchange for that briefcase you're holding under the table. Yeah, so you go back to 2019 as planned, but this time with the right math. Are you just... Dude, why don't you at least think about it before you do something? It's an honor to meet you, Mr. Hargreaves. You know me? Everybody knows you. I mean, you're number two. You're a legend. Really? Mr. Hargreaves, you can't be in here. Herb, is that any way to talk to a legend? You know how to work this puppy? I mean, this is what causes doomsday. Do you have another angle on the FBI building? Watch this. And... Oh! Anya. Yeah. We even you have a briefcase. You know, we don't look like much. But we're resourceful. Don't mess with case management. <laughs> Stand down, Doc. <laughs> Dumb. A much better plan is for us to travel to 2019. All we have to do is make nice with Banya, mm -hmm. stop her from destroying the world. Easy peasy. Hmm. Well, that's actually. That's Luther, not wash bad. your hands. But what about Vine? Wait. I mean, you. I mean, I don't even want to know what the gloss. Whatever. That's not me. All we are doing is getting rid of a mutant doppelganger, amputating a vestigial nipple. No. Wait. Mm -mm. Are you sure you don't have paradox psychosis? I've never felt better in my life. They both. They're both a mess. Okay. They're both a big mess. I don't want to her to remember. I don't want her to flip no, out. Hey. Yeah. Nah, I'm gonna skip. I, I, I'm on a diet. No, don't. No, nothing about it. The explosion causes the Mordecai to drive off. Kennedy lives. Everybody thinks Russia's behind it, including the president. He strikes back. They strike back. Before you know it, it's raining nukes. Okay. Um, Holy shit. Ray? Oh, Ray, no. baby. Hey, where's that new recruit? The shaggy hair, caveman face. No clue. Sorry. Rather than face the complexities of your own existence, you choose to hide inside someone else's. A silly life on a silly farm. That's not meant for you. confused with the whole I don't I don't get it I really don't get it I don't get this whole connection f thingy with Harlan I really don't understand 
Like, I, I don't get it. Like, I'm really hoping it's not weird and I'm not getting it. <laughs> I don't understand it. She's... Like, what? I don't... It's not like he's fake. It's not like, the, it's not like they are fake. It's not like she just ended up here. Sissy and Harlan and Carl, they're all real people. So what is this? It's not like imaginary uh, Harlan or whatever, right? So I, I don't understand. Is he sensitive or something to her powers and he somehow has some kind of... I don't know. I don't get it. Can she share powers? Why would she share it with them? But, uh, I don't understand. I really don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. Whatever. I don't understand. <laughs> but uh, uh, maybe I'll understand the next episode. I'm really hoping I can watch another one today. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, this was episode 8. It was, a, again, a good episode. Um, a little bit, I'm feeling a little bit flustered because, again, I don't understand this whole thingy. Uh, but there were some gross also nice visuals uh about you know i was waiting when vaya would get her memories back and now she has them all back um but i didn't i was wondering how exactly she would get them back and i'm guessing good old sort of torturing helps um i did not expect i don't expect her to be you know that she would have to eat some kind of disgusting dessert brain desserts in order for her you know I, know I know it's not like literally i know it's like in her head but still or headspace uh it was very yucky <laughs> um i kind of didn't want her to get a marriage but also wanted to because i know at some point like i guess imaginary vaginal says she has to deal with it she can't just pretend it never happened uh but as soon as we saw her you know being the cause of all of all the whole doomsday i really was hoping she wouldn't um, but so far the building hasn't exploded yet, right? So maybe, I don't know. It probably will explode. I have no idea. I'm really like, are we gonna, are we gonna have like a same ending as season one? Are they yet again going to travel somewhere? Gonna try to prevent it? I like, are we really in some kind of endless loop of them traveling again and again to different times just to make sure that certain shit doesn't happen and then by doing that another shit thing happens <laughs> i don't know <laughs> but i wouldn't mind seeing you know see you more adventures of them in different times but i also kind of want them to have a break you know it's one thing to have hope i also just want them i guess to have some resolution but um yeah, I think the highlight for me was definitely five meeting five. The five seeing each other and the whole thing about making sure that they wouldn't go to like homicide. You know, that you have the seventh stage of paradox psychosis and that Luther of all people, Luther was the one who had to make sure that everyone keeps it together and that none of the fives are going to flip out. And it didn't go all too well. Uh, you know, both fives don't trust each other or themselves late but um it, it, i thought it would go even worse at least both of them are still breathing um and i'm hoping that when we get there they somehow do get on the same page and they're not gonna try to screw each other over i have no idea uh it's again it's a mess um I'm, i just really wish that they could quickly inform each other i don't know like Like, I mean, if they could just, like, call each other and give each other updates, like, Hey, Five, this is Diego. Just want to tell you that the cause is Vanya at this building and we have to... Like, ah, uh, if you could just find a way to update each other, I think a whole lot of problems would have been solved. But that would have been too easy. Um... Also, the, the, the only one who is left of the suite, I believe, the only brother... He's definitely going to take revenge. Um, at least for now, his revenge is probably going to be targeted towards the handler. Because he figured out that they were being... Well... They were being misled with those fake tubes. Uh, and he he recognized her smell. So he's definitely going after her. So I'm, I'm curious how exactly that will come into play. 
Um, because I can't, I don't know, I can't imagine the Halo just being killed by him without any uh, involvement of Five, so we'll see about that. Mm. Also, surprised that Grace did end up listening to Diego and she did do a little bit of her own research uh, and found out that yes, Reginald is definitely a lot more um, shady than she thought. But she clearly loved him or loves him a lot, but she was, she's not, at this moment, she's not um, willing to. To just accept the fact like, hey, you know, you know the certain things about my work I can discuss. And rightfully so. This is, uh, yeah, Reginald. <laughs> eh, this is an whole other level. Like, oh, I can't really say whether I am or not involved into the assassination of the freaking president. But you can deal with that. Why just be a little bit more patient and maybe someday I can tell you. Yeah, I'm happy that she got out there. But I'm also worried because, again, um... Normally Diego wouldn't have been here. Diego wouldn't have told her about all of this. Normally I'm guessing she wouldn't have, you know, figured this out. So what kind of cause, you know, what kind of um, effect would that have? Mm. Also the little Mr. Briefcase bit, you know, where Diego was being, you know, having this uh, um, orientation. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely fun. I wish we could have seen more of the Mr. Briefcase bit. <laughs> it was so ridiculous. But in a fun way. Um, yeah, like like always, you know, uh, Umbrella Academy is pretty chaotic, but at least for me in an enjoyable way. Like, everyone is always all over the place. And uh, some things fit together, some things make sense. And some things, again, uh, like the Harlan, uh, like the Harlan thing, uh, don't make sense at all. At least not to me. But they probably will, or... You know, make sense soon. Um, da, da, da. I keep wanting to say Harold instead of Harlan. I don't know why. It's very annoying. So if I said a few times Har Harold or Harlan, I don't know. I keep changing the names. Uh, not sure what, what that is. But sorry about that. Mm. But I'm really hoping that they're saying like Fanya would always be the bomb. I'm really hoping that's not the case. But it makes sense because she is the most... Uh, uh, powerful of them of them all so it makes sense that she would always be the one and you know uh, I can't really envision Diego being the bomb at some point um, but yeah I don't know I'm really wondering because yeah okay it's, they're telling she's the bomb but as we saw at the beginning of the season she was working with them together so it's not like she's now like bad I mean if things are still kind of going how they went Originally, you know what we're trying to stop then again. She's working with them part of the group part of the gang So I don't think she's going I don't think that if she's going to see them. She's gonna at attack them um, She was this was this was literally just an effect of her being literally um, Tortured if they didn't torture her, she wouldn't have exploded. No way. Like, as we saw before, she didn't kill the police officer. She just, um, made them unconscious. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure what I'm saying. So, I don't know. I'm just worried how she's going to feel about all of this. She already had to deal with a lot, and now she has to deal with this as well. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I think that that's pretty much it. So I'm still confused, but also still amused. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Bye.